and welcome back to another video with on point politics and today we're going to be going over something fairly interesting we are going to be talking about the election and how harris is actually kind of improving in the national aggregate we see right here donald trump leads the third party matchups by just 2.8 percent he was leading this aggregate by about 4.7 percent very recently and so definitely harris is improving in the third party aggregate and so now that is going to reflect and theoretically she is now kind of gaining some approval rating basis i mean she is kind of picking up some steam against the trump campaign you know it's mostly a lot of far left liberals being enthused to vote for her now and so you are going to see her pick up a little bit of steam in this campaign and we're going to be filling out the electoral map based on the latest changes make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this and so we are going to fill out the safe republican states these are mostly a lot of the great plain states and some of the appalachian area states that are going to go in the safe republican column not only that we also have the states of iowa and ohio which now fall under 20 point victories in this new forecast we also have the state of texas at 19 points for donald trump and the state of florida at 19 points for donald trump as well these states donald trump is still going to gain with hispanic voters by a pretty decent amount and is also going to gain with white working class voters now once we have new approval rating data broken down by state we will more than likely see a couple of differences in state ratings i do expect the rust belt to be a little bit easier for donald trump to win than the sun belt but until we get that state by state data broken down by civics we are not necessarily going to have the adequate data in order to you know adjust for that we also have Maine second in the safe republican column and we have alaska in the safe republican column at 20 points for donald trump Maine second is a 16 point victory for the former president we will see for the safe democrat states we have the states of vermont maryland uh, massachusetts i mean maryland and dc coming in at plus 15 margins vermont at 30 points for harris 27 points in massachusetts 25 points in maryland and 74 points in the district of columbia for the likely republican states well actually we have to fill in the likely district for kamala harris for the first congressional district in maine that's going to be a 13 point win for the likely states we have donald trump winning wisconsin by around 10 points pennsylvania by 11 points and we have michigan as a nine point victory the reason why pennsylvania is voting to the right of wisconsin and michigan is because you are seeing donald trump gain with white working class voters and with hispanic and african-american voters and on top of that the voting registration gains for republicans has been the most in pennsylvania the most out of any of the three rust belt states and that's why you are seeing a better margin for donald trump in the state of pennsylvania than a state like wisconsin and michigan where arguably she may actually perform slightly better now due to probably doing better with the white suburban versus this lib type voter she may be able to gain in a place like milwaukee potentially be able to get wisconsin to vote to the left of michigan and pennsylvania by quite a few points actually even internal polling data actually showed that to be the case for donald trump going against joe biden for the state of north carolina it is now a 14 point victory for donald trump the state of georgia is an 11 point win however i do expect when we get new state by state data that georgia is going to be slightly more competitive than the rust belt as a whole arizona is a 10 point victory for donald trump in the state of nevada we also have a 13 and a half point victory for the former president i'm very confident in this rating in the state being a very very large victory even compared to the other swing states because of the fact that the culinary workers union actually just endorsed donald trump because of his no tax on tips policy this group actually went to obama and hillary clinton in 2008 and 2016 and so the fact that donald trump got their endorsement is a pretty big deal nebraska second is also a six point victory in this forecast almost falling under the five point margin 
Now, for the likely Democrat states, we have California at 13 points for Harris. We have Connecticut at 11 points for Harris. Delaware at 8 points for Harris. Rhode Island comes in at just a mere 12 points for Harris. New York is around a 10-point victory, which is close to what the polling data we have actually shows. We actually have this state at an 11-point victory for her in our latest New York poll. So that was a pretty interesting result there, and that kind of aligns with that result as well. The state of Hawaii is going to be very competitive. It is in the likely Democrat column, just an eight-point victory for Harris. And the states of Washington are nine points for Harris, and Oregon is now a six-point victory. You also have the state of Colorado at six points for Harris. So you can see she's already gained from our previous video. She's now making states like Oregon, Colorado, likely Democrat in the scenario and states like California and Rhode Island are nearing that safe Democrat rating. So she is gaining with some inner city black voters and some kind of white suburban resist lib type voters that are kind of enthused by her campaign. But once we get new demographic data and state by state data, I guarantee you Donald Trump is probably going to be performing better in the Rust Belt than what he would be doing in the Sun Belt as of right now in the state of Minnesota, well, actually, we'll leave that state for later. New Mexico is a three-point victory. This is a state where I'm actually more confident in the rating here because of the fact Donald Trump is going to improve with Hispanic and white voters, and that's literally like the majority of the electorate in New Mexico. And with third-party candidates taking away for Harris, I'm not going to be surprised to see that being the case. In the state of Virginia, just a one and a half point victory for Donald Trump is on the way in the state. The rating has decreased from the last couple of videos. Harris is enjoying a little bit of a polling boost, but Donald Trump is still very ahead in this election, and it is not anywhere near a competitive race on the presidential level. Now, going into the lean Democrat states, we have Illinois at three points for Harris and New Jersey at two and a half points for Harris. I'm actually more confident in Illinois voting to the right of Colorado now, especially since Harris is the nominee because of the fact she's going to do worse in the rural areas in the state, which have a lot of white working class voters like the upper Rust Belt as well. And so that's going to be something pretty interesting. And I think Donald Trump is still going to gain in proper city Chicago as well, which is going to make the race a single digit lead for Kamala Harris this time around. And for the tilt states for both campaigns, Minnesota is very, very narrowly going to the former president, just a 0.6 percentage point margin. Donald Trump is winning the national popular vote by 8.2 percentage points in this forecast, meaning that Minnesota is basically trending to the left off a complete cliff. And that's what you're really seeing here. And I think that maybe in the next forecast, if the polling does get better for Harris, we may actually see Minnesota end up flipping into her column the states of maine and new hampshire have now officially joined the harris column albeit very narrowly and polling does indicate donald trump is up in the state by one against harris but that is within margin of error ranked choice voting also tends to favor democrats in a state like maine and so you may possibly see harris narrowly eke out a victory there minnesota may be falling in to that tilt column in the next video if harris continues to improve in the aggregate. And so for right now, Donald Trump leads the Electoral College with 341 electoral votes to Harris's 197 Electoral College votes. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.